Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. I can't hear you. Aye, aye, Captain. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Adam and Tally World. I get your hands off me, booty. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Adam and Tally World. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to like this video, comment below, and subscribe. Do it, or I'm coming for you. That's not true at all. I'm not going anywhere. I have a headache right now, so this is going to be hard to do. But we're going to get through this together. All right, so the first match of Fastlane 2018, this was a pre-show match, the kickoff show, whatever you want to call it. It was Rizango and the Perfect 10 versus Mojo Riley and Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable. Uh, this match was huge. It had huge implications. Whoever won this match would go on to do absolutely nothing. Uh, so... It was a back and forth match, whatever, nothing fancy. Let's say there's nothing really on the line. It was in the kickoff show. Uh, the perfect 10, one with some weird knee move. I don't even know what it's called. The perfect 10 knee. I don't know. Whatever. He pinned Mojo Riley. One, two, three. And that goes off to do nothing. Then we got match number two, the first actual match of the pay per view. It was Shinsuke Nakamura, the guy that's going on to WrestleMania after winning the Royal Rumble, versus Matska Rusev. Um. Rusev, the fans really love him. Shinsuke, people kind of like him, whatever. Like I said, I really like Rusev. I don't care for Shinsuke, so I'm along with the most of the crowd. But they did a pretty good job in this match, having uh, Rusev get outside the ring a couple times. Act like he was afraid of Shinsuke. So it kind of got the crowd to boo him a little bit. So you kind of build up Shinsuke and bring down Rusev, kind of split the difference a little bit. Um, in the end, Shinsuke Nakamura, he gets the Kinshasa. You can't see my leg kick up right there because I can't kick too high. Uh, he kicks Rusev in the face. Uh, pins him one, two, three. So he's going on to WrestleMania with a win at Fastlane. So good for Shinsuke. Next up, we have got the United States Championship match right here. That is a beautiful belt. Granted, I'm from the United States, so I'm a little particular to that one. Uh, we had Bobby Roode versus Randy Orton. Randy Orton, of course, as I kept telling us over and over again, had never won the U.S. Championship. But in my opinion, that's because the U.S. Championship was always down here and Randy Orton was always up here. And finally, they kind of got Randy Orton the belt up, bing, right here at the same level. Uh, oh, about to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Ow. That has not helped my headache. All right. So this is an all right match. Nothing too fancy. Uh, in the end, uh, Bobby Roode jumps off like the second rope to get Randy Orton. Of course, RKO out of nowhere. Pins him one, two, three. Randy Orton is your new U.S. champion, the Grand Slam champion, if you will. Um, then Jinder Mahal comes out, starts beating up Randy Orton. Then Bobby Roode comes up, gets Jinder Mahal off of him. Then he gives uh, Randy Orton the glorious DDT. So uh, Bobby Roode walks out on top, but Randy Orton is your new United States champion. Very nice. Does that mean it'll be a triple threat match at WrestleMania for the United States Championship between Randy Orton, Bobby Roode, and Jinder Mahal? Hmm. Our fourth match was a tag team match between Becky Lynch and Naomi versus uh, Natalia and Carmella. Uh, I recommend everyone go back and watch this match. I've gone on record as saying I do not believe the female wrestlers are really all that good. They make it seem like, oh my gosh, they're so good. And in my opinion, if you had male wrestlers up here, female wrestlers are right here on average. Just my opinion, I'm sorry. But this match was really good in my opinion. If you did not see this one, Go back and watch. It's not as great as some matches, but as far as women matches go, this one was really good. Hats off to you. Oh my gosh, look at that mess. Um, so in the end, um, Carmella ends up kicking Becky Lynch in the face again, just like Shinsuke Nakamura with a Kinshasa to Rusev. Pins her one, two, three. So they go off and win. Um, that was about it. Like I said, this doesn't really determine any part of a story or anything like that, but go back and watch it. It was a really impressive match. In my opinion, let me know what you think. Fifth match, we got it for the Tag Team Championship. We got the Usos versus the New Day. Um, this is an okay match. Once again, kind of like Randy Orton and uh, Bob Roode. Nothing, nothing to blow your mind. Nothing kind of crazy. Just a little bit back and forth, back and forth. Although, it was kind of cool because the Usos started doing the New Day's moves. And the New Day started trying to do the Usos moves. They put, But they still couldn't win over each other. They're just kind of showing like, hey... New Day's right here, and so are the Usos. And the Usos talked about how they've never fought at WrestleMania or had a match at WrestleMania. Let's be honest, they're not really fighting. They've never had a match at WrestleMania. Um, at one point, the Usos jump over the top rope, land on the New Day. Everyone's flat and on the ground, and all of a sudden, the Bludgeon Brothers come out. They start beating up everybody. The first person they hit is uh, Big E. So technically, if you're going to say who wins this match, 
the New Day win, but since it was a disqualification and all this other stuff, that one's out the window. Not WrestleMania. It's out the window. That one doesn't count unless it, it was just too chaotic. Um, so I'm guessing that they're going to have another triple threat match possibly at WrestleMania for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship. You have the Udos, the Udos, the New Day, and the Usos, and the Bludgeon Brothers. God only knows who's going to win that one. Um, but that's what it is in the end of that match. Sixth match is for the Women's Championship. I don't have it, but you can pretend it's up there with the men's. Uh, it was Charlotte Flair versus Ruby Riot. Um, the Riot Squad was out there. Becky and Naomi were out there. Um, once again, still not a fantastic match. It was all right. Tell me if I'm wrong, but every time I see Ruby Riot, I have to look away. I'm sorry. I'm not the best looking guy in the world. I'm not shaming her because she's a chick and she's ugly. But to me, that chick is ugly. Like, uh, she looks like a reject from Hot Topic, to be honest with you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sure she's a super nice person, but she should not be on camera. I'm sorry. She should be working at Burger King in the back with the grill or flipping the burgers or doing the fries or something like that because that is that is a face that only a mom could love like God. and she's got the tattoos she's super skinny and pasty white got tattoos everywhere and hair's all trimmed off like she looks like a really bad page like if you saw the meme where the the riot squad and absolution came out one night right after the other you got absolution's got babes you got the uh, riot squad but uh, not so pretty chicks i'll just leave it like that um so Charlotte wins with a figure eight. Um, I said nothing too groundbreaking at this match. It was until after the match that Asuka shows up, which my buddy had predicted would happen. I didn't even think, I just figured Asuka was gonna go on and fight Alexa. But my buddy's like, hey, he thinks Asuka's gonna fight Charlotte. And he was right. Because um, Charlotte was out there and then Asuka comes out, nah, 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 takes off her mask, points at the sign. That makes it legit um, these, de now, these days. Like if you point at the sign, that's, that's it. You're going to WrestleMania and you're fighting that person. That's all there is to it. And that's all she wrote. So she did that. So she's probably going to go against Charlotte at WrestleMania. I'd hate to be Charlotte right now because you've been the queen. You've been there for so long. You've been doing all this stuff. And all of a sudden, Asuka comes along. If Asuka picks you right now, you might as well just go, well, I'm going to lose. The only person that could possibly beat her now is if they really go with the Ronda thing. If Ronda really starts, if Ronda's... Uh, stock really rises and people really like her she could be the one to beat her my buddy thinks that she might fight her at SummerSlam. that could be good it could be too soon it could be not soon enough i think it'd be way bigger if oscar won the belt at this wrestlemania and held it kind of like brock lesnar's gonna do held it all year she could fight everybody i'm sure it'd probably get very boring at some point because it's like what do you do everybody just loses loses to oscar eventually she has to lose and i think it'd be way cooler if they do decide to make Ronda the big person that she is, that she beats Asuka at WrestleMania 35. So a whole year goes by, and then she wins it uh, against Asuka. So Asuka could be on a dominant thing, just tearing through everybody. Boom, 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 boom. They could come up with stories. They could have Asuka cheat to beat R uh, Ronda, and then finally Ronda wins at WrestleMania. I don't know, but if it was Charlotte right now, I'd be like, dang it. Okay, I guess I'm going to lose at WrestleMania to Asuka. But... At least she's champion now. The final match was for the WWE Championship. Your current champion, AJ Styles, versus John Cena, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, Baron Corbin, and Dolph Ziggler. I believe that's everyone. There were six people in that match. I'm sorry if I left out anybody. They're not going to watch this video anyway. They'll never know. Um, start off, Cena AA, everybody except for AJ Styles. And he went to uh, AA, AA, AJ Styles. God, that's a lot of letters. AJ Styles, but AJ Styles didn't go for it, so they started fighting back and forth. And by the time they got done, everybody got back in the ring, and then they all started beating up John Cena, which was kind of cool. <gasps> Beat up John Cena! Um, then at one point, Dolph Ziggler was about to get AA'd, and they turned into a Famouser. That was a kind of cool move. I've never seen that before. Um, then Cena put AJ through a table. He was out for a little while. Uh, Shane McMahon was, of course, out there because why not? And uh, he started, uh, Sami Zayn started getting in his face like, this is what you want, huh? You wanted me and Kevin Owens to hate each other. And then Shane stands up to him and gets face to face. Then Kevin Owens comes to kick Sami Zayn in the back of the head. Sami, of course, moves out of the back of the way because he's got spidey senses. Kicks uh, Shane McMahon right in the face, lays him out. Uh, then Kevin Owens almost pins somebody. I can't remember who. Then Shane McMahon pulls him off. And Kevin Owens is like, what? What are you doing? Then Kevin Owens is out there. 
uh, in the ring again. Uh, Sami Zayn gives him a haluva kick. Then uh, he goes to pin him. One, two. Shane pulls him off. They're like, come on! People are losing their mind in the crowd. But of course, this is for the story. Another possible triple threat they could have Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Shane McMahon at WrestleMania. So we got three possible triple threats right now. Um, let's see, what else we got? Kale. Sorry, I put a lot of notes on this. This was a pretty big match. This is a really big match, in my opinion. Let's say it was really cool. It was fast paced. There was tons of moves. There's AAs, phenomenal forearms, pop up power bombs, haluva kicks, deep six, end of days, famousers, all kinds of things, zigzag attempts, all kinds of things in this match. It was nice and fast, so it wasn't too boring. Let's say, I don't know how they coordinate matches like this when you got all these people doing all these different things, but thumbs up to them. Um, let's see, what is it? KO. Oh, yes, there we go. And at one point, it was Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn in the ring, and Sami Zayn's like, I told you I'd lay down for you. I would. So he goes to lay down. He's like, leans his head like, come on, man, pin me. Kevin Owens goes to pin him, and at last thing, he grabs his head. He's like, he's going to beat him up or throw him in a power up power bomb. And then Sami Zayn's like, mm, nope. And he tries to roll him up. Pins him one, two, and then he kicks out or someone p pushes him away. Uh, then they start fighting back and forth, da, 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 punching in the side of the head. Um... Cena tries for a double AA on uh, Sami Zayn, I believe. Yes, no, Ziggler, Ziggler. He tries to do for he does a first AA, grabs his arm, rolls him up, goes for the second one. Kevin Owens comes up behind, throws him into the ropes, pop up power bomb, boom. AJ Styles out of nowhere, boom. Phenomenal forearm pins Kevin Owens one, two, three, and still your WWE champion AJ Styles. So he'll be going on to WrestleMania to fight Shinsuke Nakamura. Um, I really hope AJ Styles wins that. Um, I'm not a big fan of uh, Nakamura myself. I believe Chris Morgan said that. He's not a fan of uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, and neither am I. All right, so let's get into it. Who won the predictions for Fastlane 2018? We had eight people compete. Uh, there were six matches, and the winner is... The first time ever. No, I'm not WWE trying to make break records. This was an eight-way tie. All eight people who competed won. So thank you very much. I'm going to shout out your name right now. Uh, but before I do that, there was one little little inconsistency or whatever uh, in the fact that the New Day and the Usos, I said some of you guys predicted the New Day win. I didn't count that one just because it was like all crazy. And I said they just grabbed, they kicked, hit Biggie first, whatever. Most people picked, uh, I think, the New Day to win, but we're all just having fun, so let's all get a shout-out right now because basically everybody did win. So basically everybody got three points. I'm going to name off your names right now. First up, we got Mr. Chris Morgan, who I just said a minute ago is not a fan of Nakamura. He's a fan of AJ Styles, just like me. Uh, we got Miguel Angel. We got T. Chala. We got WW Mark is back. We got Josh Lane is back. Uh, we got KM Gaming, another name I'm familiar. Some of these names I've seen before. Um, we got Tom Danger, good job on you, and Klutzy B. So thank you all eight of you fellows, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, for competing and doing your predictions. You all won this time. So Fastlane, first time ever, eight people competed, eight people won. That's about it. So thank you everybody for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video, comment below, and subscribe. I do appreciate it. I will not come and get you like I said at the beginning. Unless if you're my neighbor, then I'll come and get you. But other than that, my butt is staying here. Uh, that's it. And until next time, peace.